Snap to cover. Bat rep. <sighs> What's up, Snap to Cover fans? It's Tobin here with the wife. Hi. Uh, we're going to be play testing our two foot by two foot campaign board that we just uh, were just about finished with. So I want to give it a play test before I start gluing things down permanent. Uh, what army are you bringing? USCR. USCR. Yes. So the big guys. Yeah. Uh, what what models are you bringing? I have the behemoth, the monkey wrench, and the sniper. It's good. And you're going to be defending on this one, yes. right? Okay. That's a, that's a good defensive, uh, good defensive stance. That's what I thought. I'm uh, I'm going to pick out their arch enemies, the FCC, and uh, we're going to have a nice attack on from them. Uh, I've got the house master, I got the house member, and the chem engineer. So, see how that goes. It's going to be. Uh, I have a feeling it's going to be a bloodbath. <laughs> Yeah. You've got a lot of firepower with that behemoth, and uh, with the way the board's laid out, he'll actually be able to uh, start elevated, which is something that's new for him. So we'll have to see if that's broken or not, but we'll see. Hope not. Hope not. <laughs> yeah. So let's get on to uh, figuring out what scenario. Let's roll for it. All right, so we're going to be playing the defend scenario. Uh, this is on a two by two foot board like we have here. It's going to last five rounds. All ACMs are active, so your suppression, your overwatch, and your binding. Uh, the way the scoring works for this is the attackers get one victory point per kill uh, and three victory points if the entire enemy team is killed. The attack, the defenders, on the other hand, get two victory points for su surviving defenders. So it looks like they could have a maximum of six points by what I'm reading here. Uh, the descriptions below say that one Merc's team is held up in a building or similarly defendable structure. The defending player's goal is to live. The attacker's goal is to overrun and kill the defending Merc's player. This game is played on a two foot by two foot Merc's battlefield. ACMs are active. Merc's killed in action remain dead. That's more of a campaign rule. They're, they'll be dead at the end of this no matter what. Uh, attacking player earns one victory point for each kill and a bonus three VP if all defending mercs are killed. So that's a total of six points. Uh, the defending player earns two victory points for each living merc. So that's another six points if they keep all of their mercs alive. So should be good. Let's see how this uh, how this plays out. Pretty sure with the way I brought models. Uh, her behemoth is going to be surviving until the end, so I think she's got two victory points right off the bat, but we'll see how it goes. Let's get in and play some games. Alright, so we're going to roll off to see who goes first in this. Seven and a nine. She's already got the lucky rolls. <laughs> Alright, so you get to deploy your first model. Okay. Where, are you, where are you going with? I'm going with the monkey wrench. Right about Getting here. right inside the garage? Yeah. Cool. Trying to hide them a little bit. Alright, so I get to deploy inside of a card length. Uh, place her right there. Who is it? That is my house master. So she'll be up behind that. She'll get some full cover there. Unless you take the roof then she might be able to be seen. Uh, now we'll see what your second is. Mr. Behemoth. Mm -hmm. Now he's a guy that would benefit from being elevated because that's going to increase his FN or decrease his FN, so he'll be easier to shoot. All right, so you're going to place the Behemoth as high as possible. You put him behind that wall a little bit. That would give him some cover too. I'll put him right in the doorway. Yeah. Okay. Next is my chem engineer. Deploy him behind this wall. Um, facing forward. And now up to you. Alright, so you got your sniper next. Where's he going? Um Going up there too? Yeah. Okay. 
chilling right next to the uh, right now he's facing sideways cool okay alright so I'm gonna place my house member uh, right there I have him face this way alright I'm all deployed you're all deployed alright so okay. who's up the monkey wrench. Monkey wrench? Yes. What's the monkey wrench doing? I'm going to snap to cover back here. Okay. It's definitely within a base. I'm going to snap him over there. Okay. And then I'm going to put him on suppression. Suppression. Using yes. that intimidate a little bit. <laughs> I'm feeling intimidated. Good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's, uh, what's the next number we got? Um, I have a seven. Seven's going. <laughs> I got, I got, look at my numbers. Look how good I'm rolling tonight. I got a two, a two, and a whopping four. What's your lowest? Five. <laughs> well, keep rolling. <laughs> Alright, so your behemoth's next. What right. are we, what are we doing with the behemoth? So he's gonna snap up to this wall. Okay. He's gonna snap right there. Now what is he gonna do? And now he's going to go in Overwatch. Overwatch. Yeah. Think you're going to kill my guys or something? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe? All right. Hopefully. <laughs> Let's go see what the uh, the monkey wrench is going to do next. The, or not the monkey the wrench, the sniper. 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 All right, so what's your sniper doing? All right, my sniper is going to... Ooh. All right, let's set that over again. <laughs> my sniper is going to... Move just a little bit over here. So that okay, so he stops at the change in elevation. Yep. So he's not in the way of his overwatch. That's good. And so that when he, I'm going to put him on overwatch so that one of your guys moves, he's ready. So the sniper just moved, the other guy's on overwatch. Both of them are. Now you can't go on overwatch oh. and move. Oh. So Never mind. He's just he's moving. He's just there. Okay. <laughs> So he's on Overwatch. He's just chilling out. He's chilling out too. Cool. All right. Let's see what uh, <laughs> see what the uh, FCC can do. Okay. All right. So I've got my house ma house member first. He's gonna bind down to my house master. Um. Then my house master's up because he beats a tie with a reaction of six. The house master, she's going to uh, climb one level of elevation for one MP. Uh, and then you would be able to get an overwatch shot, I think, because you can see me at the end of my first MP. Yep. Um, I think that's how it works. The behemoth? Behemoth gets a shot, so you get to roll three dice on her. Okay. So you get three shots on uh, on the house master. Okay. Uh, this could be it with the way you roll. <laughs> uh, so you know. you have a behemoth who's an FN of eight. You're at a higher elevation, which makes it a seven. Yep. And I'm out in the open right now. So you need a six. <laughs> Six or higher, you got three dice. If you can roll three six or higher's, she is gone. First, first move. You got a four, a seven. seven, and a ten. So two blood off the bat. <laughs> that means two armor checks. So let's see. Good luck. <laughs> She's got an armor failure at a five up. There's a five. She's fine. And then another one. A nine. nine. So our armor's good. She can continue moving, but you put the hurt on her. <laughs> Alright, so she gets two blood, but she's going to continue the second part of her movement, which will put her behind this wall. And there's that. She doesn't have a armor counter. Alright, and then that means my house member gets to go next. He's going to go like this. So that's his first movement and you can't see me there. So that doesn't trigger an overwatch. Um, all 
And there's a second movement. And then... Now I can see you. There's the third movement. Go like that. And that is that is that guy. Alright, so then I got my chem engineer. Chem engineer is going to move. So if I move one MP, I'm pretty much not gonna be good. Uh, let's teleport to again. Or debris curl. Teleport with no failure chance. Negative one MP bound friendly. So I'm going to teleport with the house the chem engineer. So that puts me, I went from MP3 down to MP2, but you don't get your shot, because now that's where I start from. Then I go, one, whoop. One. Two. That is the rest of my guys. He's gonna turn a little bit. And that is his his turn. All right, round two. All right. What what's your highest? Nine. You got nine. What's your reaction on your nine? Uh, three. Three. I got a reaction six. I guess I'll be going first this time. Yep. You ready for some hurt now? <laughs> I guess so. Okay. Let's see. So you're still on Overwatch. So that means if I pop out and try to do anything, I'm gonna be in some hurt. Mm-hmm. Um, you know what I'm gonna do though? I'm gonna snap to here. And then I'm gonna go on Overwatch myself. Wonderful. And you'll get to see the power of the sweep. Mm-hmm. My chem engineer, who is going to, hmm, if he moves or does an action, he's going to go on Overwatch as well. Alright, so my behemoth is going to come off of Overwatch Okay. and shoot at the house master. Are you trying to finish her off? Yeah. How would you do that? Because she annoyed me. That's so mean. She annoyed me. Oh, all right. <laughs> Let's see these dice. Oh, actually, I got my Overwatch shots first. So we'll start with him first. All right, so we got the chem engineer. He's on suppression when he goes to take his Overwatch shot from the uh, the monkey wrench there. So let's see if he passes his courage check. Uh, he's got a five up, which is going to be a six up because of intimidate. Nine. He's good. So he's going to take uh, a shot, two shots, at the behemoth. Uh, ten and an eight. That's going to do, uh, that's going to be one hit. So you didn't make your armor check. Alright, so you need a six up to see if you pass, or if your armor stays up. Ten! Hey. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. No blood because of the weapon strength and no armor break. Nope. I was hoping to make you a turret. Nope. No? Sorry. Okay. Alright, so now my housemaster is going to do her overwatch sweep. She's going to target the monkey wrench and then sweep left. Uh, so let's see. That is... She needs a 4-5 up on her curse check. A one. Really? You roll ten will you roll my dice for me, please? No. Please? That was an I'll lose. <laughs> Alright, so she does not get an overwatch shot. I'm trying. Alright, so now you get to make your three shots on my guys after my epic failure of a <laughs> attempt with Overwatch. Yep. Uh Hopefully she can survive. Nope. You are elevated. Let's get down here and see what we got. So you are elevated, and you are, and I have partial cover from that rock wall. So those are going to cancel out. So you're at your base FN, which is eight. Eight. 
So let's see these dice roll. 10, 3, and 4. She is dead. Oh. Oh no! Yay. You happy about killing my model? Yeah. What did she ever do to you? Everything. Everything? <laughs> Uh, my chem engineer is going to bind down to my house member, and I got a one next. I have an eight. Okay. All right. So what are you doing? All right. So my monkey wrench is going to shoot at your chem engineer. This guy yeah. taking out this guy now. Yeah. Thought I was the assaulters. Hmm. All right, so he's well, going to get... As long as I can defend myself, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so he's going to get partial cover from the tree. Mm -hmm. uh, you're at a higher elevation, so those are going to cancel each other out, so it's straight FN. Seven. And how many shots per target do you get? Um, Should be right below your FN. Two you attacks two? per target. Okay, so you get two dice on this roll. I have to get above seven. And you get seven or higher. How much blood does he have? Three. So I can only do two. Yep. So you can't kill him this round, but five and a three. <gasps> Kim Engineer be good. That's what you get. All your luck's drying up. <laughs> no, it's not. Alright, so who's last? Your right, sniper? Sniper. Uh oh. This he... guy here? Yeah. That guy. He is going to crack shot your Really? Yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> so he is anchored. Luckily that doesn't do any blood, but... But he can't move. <laughs> but now he, he can only move one card length, and then he's stuck wherever he stops. So I have to roll? Uh, no, I gotta roll an armor check at... Uh, one? An armor value... Uh, armor check of six plus. Okay. So six plus. Come on, lucky dude. Get the armor breaks. Oh. Eight, he's fine. Whee. So armor isn't broken, but he is he has an anchor rod sticking his leg into the ground. Yep. How do you feel about that? Wonderful. Wonderful? You are sadistic. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <laughs> the hat's up. You know what that means. It means I have no idea what I'm going to do to win. <laughs> uh, serious about nothing. Serious about everything. Mr. Dude by the Rust Car, the uh, the house member. I don't even know who he can see. I'm actually going to go look for this view. He can see no one. He can see no one. Which means he is perfectly capable of moving. Um, to there, one, two, and he'll snap to there, and that is his turn, and then my chem engineer, who bounded, who now because of that can't do anything else, uh, and he's staked to the ground. He's staked to the ground. Is going to Can't spend move. zero on me <laughs> now. He's just gonna stay put. Can't move. He's gonna admire how well he blends in with the with the ground around him. Alright, Mrs. Uh all I roll is tens. <laughs> what what are you doing with your ten? Uh, <laughs> my monkey wrench is that going guy. to shoot at him again. Again? Yeah. He's already got an anchor. Don't you feel bad for him? No. Alright. <laughs> so you get two shots. Yes. Straight FN. Yep. Six and a ten. So one blood. One blood. And an armor check. I need a six up on my armor check. Four. <laughs> oh god. Alright, so he's got broken armor now. And he's got an anchor in his leg. And I gotta get another token. And he's got blood. This guy's just getting a collection of tokens. The token master. Token master. 
All right. So I got my chem engineer next. Uh, <laughs> that dude there. This is doing nothing. <laughs> he's going to try and unanchor himself. So I need a repair check at five up. Uh, five up. Six. The anchor's gone. Still got broken armor, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to try and stick with it. That is my nine. Then I got a five next. Still going? Yep. Okay. Uh, that's my house member. He's going to move on the card. Snap to the wall. And see, I'm have to get out. Not up that wall. He could get up that one. Uh, he will move to the change in elevation to there, and that's where he will stop. Alright, so what are you doing? I'm Who's up? My sniper. Sniper. I'm going to crack shot him again. Oh man, he just, <laughs> cooked the, he just got done ripping a rod out of his leg, All and right. now you're going to shoot him again. Yeah. Alright, so that's going to be a five you need. You got the five! How do you do that? No. I want to know. I don't, I don't know. I want to. I just do. Do you bless dice? No. No? <laughs> no. If you bless mine, I, I will. <laughs> I would rebuy my dice. Nope. No? Okay. I don't do that. Well. So he anchored him and blood? Yeah, that'll be another blood. So he's at two blood now. One blood away from death. And. Re anchored. Bye bye. Another anchor. I'm sorry. Alright, so what do you got next? Alright, my behemoth is my last one. Mr. Behemoth. And what is Mr. Behemoth gonna He's do? He's gonna shoot at your almost dead guy. Oh, are you gonna kill off Kemi? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Gotta. Alright. Sorry. Let's roll it. You got uh, eights you need. For how many dice? Three dice. He's dead. Really? You killed him like three times. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> You're really not though, that's no, the sad not. part. <laughs> not really. <laughs> Dun dun da da dun 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 Like always she rolls the highest. <laughs> Alright, my behemoth. Behemoth is first? Yeah. Or uh, yeah, mon no monkey wrench. Sorry. Monkey wrench. He is going to I'm just gonna have him move up here. Okay. And that's it. That's it? Yep. There's a snap right there. Cool. That's it. That's it? Yeah. Alright, my house member. Last and lonely house last member. Man standing. Lowest dude on the payroll. What is he gonna do? He's got two MP right now. Can't bind to anyone, so he can't increase his speed. What he's gonna do, though, is he is going to move up to here for one move to here for two and snap into your back arc SOB get ready for some bayonetta yeah. alright so who do you have? Uh, my behemoth what are you going to do with him? I'm just gonna hold him there. Hold him, get the plus anything. two uh, initiative next round. Yeah, I can't do anything with him. Alright. What's your next one? One. One? <laughs> Alright, so what are you doing? Alright. The sniper is going to move to the change in elevation. Yep. Move here. And then he's gonna go. Are you turning him at all or just keep yeah, him facing like forward? Yeah. Okay. 
And then he's gonna go down. So there's an imaginary ladder. I haven't finished that piece yet. It's and then he's gonna snap to right there. Him. Okay. So he runs down the ladder. It's a good move. You gotta face the right way though. Right now you're facing. You just <laughs> did a 180. There. Okay. Yeah, that, that's doable. Okay. Okay. So, question of the day. Guess what number she rolled with her plus two? What did you roll? Nine. You rolled a nine. So yeah. with your plus two, you got a ten. Yeah. <laughs> what this is with my behemoth? What, he does nothing. What is your behemoth doing? Nothing. Nothing? Is he going to hold again? <laughs> yeah. Okay. He does nothing. He's like, ah, I did my job. All right, so your monkey wrench is next. What's so he doing? So I'm going to move him down. Getting him out of that combat? Yeah. That was when I wish we had, uh, like, free strikes or something. And then I'll turn him. So you moved 90 degrees when you moved your first MP, and then you moved 90 degrees again when you finished your move? Yep. Yeah, I guess that's a, that's a reasonable. I'll let his you move, do that. His move is done. Okay. And his turn. Sniper. He What's his sniper doing? Three. He is going to shoot him. Really? Yeah. Okay. So your FM5, same elevation, zero. Close range is negative two. Out in the open is negative one. So you're at a negative three to your roll. What's that, a two up? Five. Five minus three is two. So I have to get a two? Anything but a one. <laughs> Seven. Yeah. That won't do a blood, but I am anchored. Woohoo. Do something. Ow. That's a chandelier. It's a solid chandelier. <laughs> All right, and now I got to do an armor check at five up. Four. Oh. Broken oh. ama. No blood. Broken ama. Better than nothing. The house member is going to take two shots at the sniper. He's going to be like, this is what happens when you have more than one bullet in your gun. I don't right. know why you're running around a battlefield with a harpoon, but I'll show okay. you what some, some true lead does. You're not even facing him. It's in his front arc. All right. FN7, close range makes it a five. Out in the open makes it a, f well, actually, no, you got cover from the wall, so it's just a five. Seven, seven. That's two blood, my dear. Welcome to the danger zone. Right. <laughs> so he just got shot twice. Let's see if he, uh, what he can do. He needs a four up on these. Break, break, break. One. She rolled her 10 again, but one. <laughs> one. How you feeling about that one? It is what it is. It is what it is. Broken armor is what it is. Whatever. <laughs> is there someone I can call? This is getting ridiculous. She just rolled another 10. <laughs> uh, You're so pleased with sorry. yourself, aren't you? Can't help it. Who's your 10? <laughs> behemoth that I can't do anything with. Okay. So what's your um, behemoth doing? <sighs> He's holding he again. Aw oh, shucks. Two victory points right there, because this is the last round of the game. Turn five. Yep. Alright, so you got your monkey wrench next. I can yep. only imagine what he's gonna do. He's gonna shoot at him. He's gonna shoot at him? Mm -hmm. Is he within a card length? Oh yeah, he's within a card length, alright. Yep. So you're in the backyard back arc within a card length. So you are at negative four. Uh, I'm at a higher elevation though, so that goes up one. And I am out in the open. So those cancel out. So it's whatever your dice are minus four, or what your FN is minus four. And you get two. Huh? 
I get two. You get two shots? Two attacks versus one target. What's your FN? Seven? Yeah. Okay, so seven minus four. Three. Three. So anything higher than a three? Anything higher than a three. Four and a two. Staying alive. <laughs> All right. So the house member is going to take two shots and hope that hope that he can do something. Um, so FN seven close range, FN five up one to a six because of partial cover. Uh, can we do this? Roll them. So scared. I need <laughs> one of these to be a six or higher. Six. 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 So he's dead. Your sniper's dead. Oh, you sniper. I got one victory point. You know what that means though? I don't get two. That's the end of the game. So, the way it wraps up, she gets four victory points for having two guys alive. <laughs> I killed one of her models, so I get one victory point. So, Mrs. Tobin wins four, two, one. I win! We'll, we'll do a recap. Alright, so that'll wrap it up for this game. What do you think? So, I won. Did you like the board? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Still liking your USCR? Oh yeah. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. They're pretty brutal. They've been pretty good to me. What, uh, who do you think was your strongest model? What do you think? Um, the behemoth was, was not. Behemoth wasn't? No. Who was? He did nothing. Who do you think was? Um, Maybe the monkey wrench. Monkey wrench. He was pretty solid. His suppression worked really well. He did a lot of good stuff for me. Yeah. He killed two people. <laughs> did he killed the first part, the girl, the woman. No, your behemoth did. All right. Dice rolls were good. Can't complain about them. <laughs> <laughs> I always roll them good. Do you think there were any? Uh, any spots on the board that were, are things that you would change on the board to make it more even? Or do you think it was pretty even the way it was? I think it was pretty even. Yeah? I just did, couldn't really, I didn't really move too much, so yeah. that's what I was, I was supposed to defend anyway, so mm -hmm. I didn't really want to move too much. Yeah. So having you come toward me kind of helped me a lot. Yeah. To defend myself. It definitely seemed like for an, for the attackers, they needed to attack. They couldn't sit back. Um, I think getting up there and getting you know shot in Overwatch is probably the biggest mistake I made in the entire game. Uh, maybe moving the housemaster uh, under with the river, like I did with the house member. If I had done that with her and then got her forward, because once you start moving up the board you actually uh, block a lot of their line of sight when they're trying to shoot down from the roof. So I think if I had done that... Because I can't see from the roof down to... They can't see... Yeah. They can't see any of those guys that, that come through. Yeah. So... So... Do you it was a good board. Yeah? I think yeah. it's working well? Yeah. So... I like it. What do you think about the, uh, the right side of the board with the trees? Do you think that needs more line of sight blocking, or do you think... I don't. I think if you didn't move your guy up so much, it would he would have less. You would have more block. Yeah. Line of sight, so my guys wouldn't be able to shoot him as well. Yeah. Okay. I liked it. Cool. It was good. It's a good play test. Yeah. High good. five. <laughs> and we will uh, get on to making some more videos. Yep. Thank you. You're welcome. Good job. <laughs> Thanks. Me too.